We'll open our business, uh, our discussion session tonight, our work session. Uh, when I uh, when open court next uh, week, we'll have an invocation by uh, Bubba Gregory, please be flagged by Lonnie Taylor. Uh, we'll then have approval of the minutes. The announcements coming up, uh, we will have a, a Christmas program downtown on uh, Friday evening, December 8th. With the lighting of the Christmas tree, that that hasn't been confirmed the exact time, but it will happen. Uh, Cliff Salee and his staff did a great job of, of putting up a tree that they'd never put up before, uh, and they didn't want to wait till later on in the Christmas season in, in case they ran into problems. But they didn't run into problems, and Cliff has promised the tree won't be up as early next year, but it will be up. Uh, We'll look at any amendments to the agenda at that point. Uh, the mayor's report, I'll pass on that tonight, but I'll have a report on some things that are going on uh, and bring you up to speed on where we are on a number of projects. Uh, then we'll have committee reports. And uh, under active business, uh, we have some appointments for the Emergency Communications Board Industrial Development Board Fire Chief, and I'll discuss that in some detail uh, unless anybody has questions about that tonight. Uh, under resolutions, uh, section 11B, uh, resolution on EMS transport billing waiver policy, which has been revised. Any discussion on that tonight? Anyone? Ms. Russell, do you want to have any comments on that tonight? Um, I don't think that uh, before we had laid out what all qualified for the hardship, um, and uh, what that that will be taken in, into consideration uh, going forward, whether or not they're able to pay for it, and they'll have it's an income based type of, of um, uh, viewing um, to see whether or not they can qualify for the hardship. And I'm not sure if it will be a one or two person um, uh, committee that will decide that over at EMS. But that's a new process that will start. And, um, you know, it's it's new. So it'll um, it'll be worked out you know, as, as we go. Any issues, issues come up, I'm sure that, you know, we can work on things soon. We're just looking at some things. Okay. Uh, under ordinances, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Uh, we did uh, present in budget and finance tonight another resolution that will be coming up next week involving applying for a connected community facilities grant. Uh, it's a two million dollar grant, up to a two million dollar grant with a ten percent match, and I'll be bringing more details to that to the court uh, next week. But that. Uh, that resolution will also come before the court then. Under ordinances, we'll have public hearing and second reading of uh, two ordinances that can be taken together. That's ordinance 298-2023-35 and 299-2023-36, rezoning on Highway 25 West. They can be taken together. Uh, as far as the planning office manager, uh, Rosalie Mahan, uh, both of these ordinances will be presented for public hearing and second reading, or, and we'll ask for questions on those two. Uh, there'll be a first reading on ordinance 300-2023-37, rezoning from R2 to R3, five parcels in green top. Ms. Mahan, you want to make address those, please? There's five lots up there on the green top of the land zone. They've been working diligently on and clearing off, and they would like to. They're going to be combining these lots, and they'd like to rezone it to R3. So, if you look at the map, you see that there is a lot of R2 on this tree, but then um, the front of map doesn't necessarily reflect all the different R3s that you guys approved. For instance, up there at the little, you remember Mr. Goat? Did the R3 on that one lot? And then we did the um, court over there on West Main. It's also in this vicinity of the zone that doesn't quite see, show that. There is some R3 in the area of the mm -hmm. 
to where they wanted to build like houses for development. So with R3, that is multi-family. Right. And there are other multi-family, you know, zones right there in that area as well. VNRC, um, let's see, how many have been saying that? 12 multi-family units, but then we calculated it, they could have up to 13 multi-family units on those five lots. Because it is, if you combine it all together, it's 1.1 acres on green top there. Yes, sir? You said five lots is 1.1 acres. If you combine all those five lots, it comes out to be 1.1 acres. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And these lots are already R2, so they're already built up painfully. You can already push them back to the building. Yes, sir. Well, we have to be careful what terms we use. It could be apartments, it could be townhomes. But they say future development because at this time with the rezoning, they don't have to necessarily say exactly what they're doing with it. But they are looking at multifamily units. Um, sir, can you kind of give me a general where this is? Okay. Um, let's see. You know where the old popcorn factory is? It's a street over over there on Church Street. If you go up there, past the old popcorn factory, uh -huh. that uh, street right there, that's Fox Hall. Up there at the top of the map, and so the next street over, that is, you're going up towards the hot village, is Green Top. Oh, okay. And there is a zoning uh, sign up there as well, so you're able to see what property it is. And they have taken all of the um, the old houses down, and it's definitely a it's a clear lot. Clear lots, I can say. Up here, it's the side of Green Top, especially my house is sitting there. Any other questions? Yes, All right, what about the rest of the, the lots that are in here? What are they going to do? What's going to happen? I mean, are they going to want to do anything with them if they're on the with their property? Well, we don't know what the other property owners are wanting to do with their property. I mean, that's totally up to them. But they are, the lifers are going to be taking five lots and combining them for future development. And then whatever they decide to do, that'll go through the planning commission. Yes, sir. So the discussion in planning when this came before us um, last Monday, um, we have had a planning commission that has been very consistent in not sending a favorable approval on rezones to R three and R one subdivisions um, neighborhoods. This one is an R2, which is already a more dense population. That's why it did come with a favorable approval from the planning. Um, looking at the already existing R3s, it just seems like that seems to be the trend that we're taking these smaller lots running up um, like Old 25, running up uh, Green Top, Fox Hall, smaller lots that honestly don't need current setbacks. Some are going to R2, and they're going to R3. Some are willing to put regular homes back. They have to be R3 to meet some to the size of the lot to meet that setback requirements. Um, but there are being more multi-family homes being built up that way. So that was the reasoning the planning gave a very good Thank you. Any questions? Thank you, Ms. Meyer. Sure. Under budget amendments, uh, there are three that can uh, can be approved all in one. These are all funded by grants, and that will be coming before the court on uh, next Monday evening. Uh, there will be notaries, of course. Uh, any other business to discuss tonight? Come before the court. Anything? Yes, sir. So you were talking about the proposed uh, possibility of us getting the uh, the grant, the ten percent match on the two million. Yes. Of the grants that we've gotten, this is the last the last ten years. How many of those projects actually 
we where we didn't concede the initial match that we put in. Are any of those or have have they? Because it seems like every time we get in to one of these grants, it sounds great, they're giving us money, but we ended up having to put extra money in to get the projects completed. I can't give you a lot of history on that because I haven't been here that long. Yes, sir. Amy, can you help me on that? I don't have that information in front of me. Um, I know Streetscape is probably the one that's on everybody's mind right now. And yes, that got out of control for lack of better words. Um, as far as other grants, I believe we kept within the match that was approved by commission. Any other business? Yes, sir. Uh, Question on the the um, the housing grants. Uh, do we know roughly how many houses that 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 five twenty five is in there? I believe it covers six, maybe seven homes. They've already been chosen, um, and I think one that they've already started the process. So one's already being looked at and uh, evaluated. I think one's a complete rebuild too, and it? I believe there's right. a complete rebuild. Any other business come forward? Before. Yes. One more thing. Um, I was looking at the minutes for the last uh, law enforcement meeting, and I found something troubling. The sheriff stated in that meeting that he didn't understand why he was being given an eighth position for dispatcher. And I find that a little troubling because he's the one who came before us asking for it. Right. Okay. It was explained to us near last month's meeting when we voted on it by budget and finance that there had been a confusion during budgeting, and this was to rectify that confusion. And based on his statement, it seems like it just has created even more confusion, but now it's costing the taxpayer money. Any other comment on that or anything else? Any other business? Anyone? Yes, sir. Can you get an update on the warehouse? Uh, I was promised today or tomorrow that the initial EPS, EPA phase one would be completed. Uh, I was in the building this past week with the person, with the structural engineer, and he's going to do a two-week study in December. So that's what we are. So that is moving forward. You know, the question, yes, sir. Uh, can Mr. Bill give us an update on the courthouse? Yes, I am still waiting on a report. Uh, I've not filed suit against them. I've got my letters to them with the itemization of everything that they're required to do. I just didn't back it up with the report from the inspection that went through the courthouse, which is not that You still haven't gotten it? No, sir. When was that inspection done? It's been right. locked up. And I've, I've made multiple requests for it. So. And I've had others do it too. So um, uh, others have reached out. Yeah, Ms. Atwood actually reached out to it. Ms. At uh, Commissioner Atwood, you've not heard anything from it, have you? No, sir. Okay. I'm still waiting for it as well. Well, I hate to have to write so many letters just to get a simple report. But, you know, I have actually called the state, but I'm still waiting. I'm going to plan to follow up with her tomorrow to see if I can move back. I'm ready to go as soon as I, I have that in hand, sir. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. Um, I have two things. One, this paycheck stuff, does that have anything to do with ours? Yes. Um, two, uh, did you want to, uh, Mr. Miller, talk about the, um, the people that came saying that the election was... Yes, I'll give you a, a report, uh, an oral report. I've done, I wanted to have in my hand tonight uh, at, at least an email I could hand out to each one of you to not be concerned about that. I spoke with Mr. Paxson at length. He spoke with Mark Goins, who's with the uh, state election uh, off of the commission office. And uh, they get that as a matter of course. Uh, and that's the same letter that's circulated. It's gone to different states. They just pick and choose kind of a scare tactic or whatever else. They file lawsuits from time to time. They've never been successful on any one of them. Uh, they, Mr. Paxson assures me that the, the folks at the state are well aware of it and that they have uh, tell us that there's absolutely no cause for alarm. 
and I'm waiting for uh, maybe a, a written legal opinion from their counsel, which is what uh, Mr. Paxson indicated he'd get to me, and I'm just waiting to be able to disseminate that to you so you can have that, okay? Any other business? Um, to answer her other question on the pay stubs that you all received in your packet, yes, that is for y'all. Um, I noticed that some of you have not uh, registered for that software. You can go online, see your pay stubs. Your W-2s will also be on there when that time comes. Um, I believe that was handed out maybe six months, maybe a year ago, but it's just reminding you that that option is out there for you. Question? Not, I'm entertaining a motion to adjourn. Motion, second. All in favor say aye. Thank you very much. Thank you.